Recently, there's been a concern about an asteroid that has a non-zero chance of hitting planet Earth on December the 22nd, 2032, nearly eight years from the time of this video. So what's the likeliness of this actually happening and what are the current updated estimates of this threat? The asteroid in question is called 2024 YR4, which was discovered on December the 27th, 2024 by the NASA-funded Atlas Telescope in Chile. The object had a close approach with Earth on December the 25th, passing by the Earth at a distance of around 828,000 kilometers or 515,000 miles, a little over twice the distance to the Moon from Earth, which is also why it became bright enough to be detected in the asteroid surveys. When additional observations suggested that it had an impact probability of over 1%, it triggered the first step in planetary defense responses. Around the middle of February, this probability rose to a 3.1% chance of impact, or a 1 in 32 chance, which is the highest impact probability we've seen. So an image went viral showing a line across Earth which indicated the possible impact corridor it could potentially hit. But at the time of those early observations, that entire line was only that 3.1% of the full prediction line, which stretched well outside the orbit of the Moon initially before more observations were carried out to further refine the calculations. Currently, from over 400 observations conducted from late January through to early March at the time of writing this, the calculations have narrowed it down to having just a 0.00076% probability of hitting Earth, which is only around a 1 in 130,000 chance. But the probability of it hitting the Moon has now gone up to around 1.7% which would be an amazing spectacle. And if it did impact the moon, it would also provide amazing opportunities for science as we would watch this event unfold in real time. And it would freshly excavate a huge amount of lunar regolith for scientific study, forming a crater of up to around two kilometers, as the moon has no atmosphere to slow it down or burn up material like Earth does. Current estimates put the asteroid in the range of around 40 to 90 meters in size, some estimates averaging it to around 55 meters. However, the measurements are currently based on the asteroid's brightness as measured using ground telescopes. We need more observational data such as infrared, radar or imagery from a spacecraft that could closely approach the asteroid for us to get more accurate estimates of its size, shape and composition, which the James Webb Space Telescope is scheduled to be used for starting early March when the asteroid will be in clear view and at its brightest to JWST, so we can expect further refinements to the trajectory calculation and description of the asteroid in the coming weeks. The threat of a cosmic collision with Earth is measured using what's known as the Torino scale. I'll let Rick Binzel, Professor of Planetary Science at MIT, explain how the scale works from his recent interview with Neil deGrasse Tyson. First of all, the Torino scale is a 10-point scale from 0 to 10. All right, 0 is really good and 10 is uh, a really bad day for the dinosaurs. And the way you the way you calculate uh, where an object falls on the Torino scale depends on the size or the consequences of what that object would be if it struck the Earth uh, versus the probability, the, the currently current best estimate for the probability that it could impact the Earth. And so it's two dimensions, consequence and impact probability. But, you know, at the lowest level, you know, things are green. You have a green level, which means, oh, this is normal. Uh, we're going to find a lot of these. Um, we're currently at that next level up, which is yellow, which just says um, these merit attention by astronomers. So that's what level three is. And uh, if the probability gets worse, uh, we would go to orange, which means there's a possible threat here. And where we want to stay out of is the red zone of eight, nine and ten, which means uh, we have 100 percent probability of hitting the Earth. And, and now it's a matter of uh, what would be the consequences. And, those consequences depend on where the object lands. So. so Rick, where is 2024 YR4 on the Torino scale? So 2024 YR4 ranks a three on the Torino scale, which means um, if it were to strike the earth, it would be a localized event. If it misbehaves, uh, it would go all the way up to eight on the Torino scale. That would be its maximum. And I think the important thing about a three on the Torino scale is it 
we like to emphasize that most likely when we get more data, um, we'll be able to reduce it to zero. And uh, three is also sort of, a, of an alert to astronomers. They say, let's pay attention to this object. We're not worried about it. No one is panicked about it, but let's get the data and make sure that it's gonna miss. That video interview was published on the 20th of February, and through further observations since then, the asteroid's rank on the Torino scale has literally dropped from a three to a zero. The chance of it hitting Earth still isn't completely zero yet, but at a 1 in 130,000 chance and decreasing, it's so minor it has far more chance of impact in the Moon than Earth, and also currently has over a 98% chance of hitting nothing and just passing right by us. If it does end up impacting Earth, let's compare what may happen using a couple of impacts that did make it to Earth. You might remember the Chelyabinsk meteor that hit Russia 12 years ago in 2013. It exploded in a meteor airburst around 30 kilometers high, releasing a powerful shockwave that damaged over 7,000 buildings, blowing out windows and damaging infrastructure across six neighboring cities. And the flying glass and debris from the shockwave caused around 1,500 people to be injured seriously enough to seek medical attention. But fortunately, there were no fatalities. Now that was the result from a meteor estimated to only measure around 18 meters. But this newly discovered asteroid 2024 YR4 appears to be around three times the diameter or more, making it far more massive than the Chelyabinsk meteor, and more comparable to the meteor that caused the Tunguska event, which was the largest meteor impact to happen in recorded history, where in 1908 a meteor exploded around 5 to 10 kilometers above Siberia, releasing the equivalent explosive energy of between 3 and 50 megatons from a meteor measuring around 50 to 60 meters in diameter, making that explosion between 6 and 100 times more powerful than the Chelyabinsk meteor explosion, as well as making it closer to Earth's surface before exploding. Fortunately, it happened in a sparse, mostly unpopulated area, so there may only be up to three deaths that occurred, but it flattened around 80 million trees over an area of around 2,150 square kilometers, or 830 square miles of forest. So, as asteroid 2024 YR4 appears to be of a similar size to the Tunguska meteor, then if it does misbehave and somehow manages to hit Earth, the damage would clearly be devastating for any neighbouring cities to the immediate impact zone, but the damage would be relatively localised to around 20 to 40 kilometres around the impact zone, and doesn't seem like it would have any wide-reaching effect on a global scale. But those comparisons are just food for thought of what could happen if an asteroid of that size were to impact Earth. However, continued observations show that the chances of an Earth impact with 2024 YR4 are increasingly shrinking and already near zero, and might reach absolute zero by the time we have further observations from JWST and others over the coming weeks and months. So what do you think? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. Please also consider supporting my Patreon for ad free uncut videos or become a channel member here on YouTube. Stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care of yourselves out there.